hey guys welcome welcome back to another video on my channel thank you so very much for tuning in if this is your very first time seeing my videos or seeing this video um or being on my channel please go ahead and subscribe tap that bell to get notified each and every time i upload because i upload twice a week so for today's video is a freestyle video very unplanned very random so i'll be doing bees meal bees um, so for this set I'll be ombre each nail brown at the top yellow at the tip. I had to polish each of these nails with the white so we could pop it the color them no justice so I had to do a very thin layer on and originally I extended this tip if you guys know these tips these are the BTA 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 art box false nails they are the coffee extend them to get an extreme ballerina shape but they're trying to lock it so guys I want to go on this side here I am struggling I'm struggling when it comes down to being professional and also being casual with my channel I don't want it to be serious like when I come on it's bam 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 I want it to be a natural it's like a podcast that's the sense that I want Especially when I'm doing things like this, just random things like that. I want to be able to come on here and just address, talk about the news, talk about how I developed this blog and what's going So, okay, so once again, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome to the video. Thank you for watching this video. Um, so, with these things, I don't know what inspired me to do these things, but I felt like it just came out of Valentine. It's a form of a when I get the name I will insert it on screen and tell you guys and I mix it with a color to kind of tone down the reddish undertone on it. So right now I am creating some these these like stain no or no 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 yeah, call it. It's like falling stains, falling honey rather. I mean I do this in basically all of my videos. You know when I have something I run with it. Like I just learned to do this and I'm going to do it in all my videos but I don't want it to become something so drawn out that you know ah there she goes again she's doing the same thing but you know I am I am evolving so on the other nail I'll be trying to create a daisy flower and on this flower I'm going to, going to try to create a they call it you no know, a bees guys my bees is a struggle so don't laugh at me you know I am breaking out into the nail art world with all my nails if you guys don't know all my nails are very simple i like simple nails on i like simple nails simple nails without the dash nothing to, to it but since of, of recent um i've been trying to come out of the comfort zone do something new you know yeah so on this nail i am mixing the yellow and the white to get a different tone because i didn't want the yellow to the yellow part to blend in with the yellow tip area so right here I'm creating my bees. I know right here is, is just not a good display of what is happening because the background is brown and then I'm using black to draw the bees. You guys can barely see it. Um, I will try to add a little bit more brightness so you guys see the struggles of me, you know, drawing this bees. But my bees is lacking. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I got to where I wanted. I mean, I was comfortable. You know when you're doing something and you're just all of a sudden you're just discouraged that these things are not going to turn out how you imagine in your head and then it it does after you finish you top coat the whole thing and you you put, you put it onto your nail even if, if you're not it's not already on the nail you see me so i was very i was truly impressed with my nails so with this part i decided to do the total opposite of what i did on the first the first nail with the the honey dripping so i did it at the tip the top of the nail um so with this part i'm going to add some some glitter to it you know you can never go wrong with glitter 
one thing you must understand is that you can never go wrong with data or studs never go wrong with those two things i mean they they add a whole different picture when you add glitters um i, I just lost my train of thought there a while ago but yes it, it, guys I understand what i was saying um so if you guys are new to my channel subscribe for more videos like this because i am coming with videos more videos like this because i really and truly i have seen my development i have seen my growth and i feel like okay it's time to take a little tiny step out of that that zone once again so i'm really proud of these nails so yeah if you're proud of me subscribe to my channel or if you if you're unsure of what i'm talking about just go and watch my other videos on my channel just to see what i'm talking about so these these nails are just mainstream there's nothing to it it's just a little bit i like them do you like them if you do like them please to hit that like button comment down the, below tell me what other designs you guys want to see me do or attempt um i'm literally i'm excited i am too excited so on the daisy the sunflower um i'll be adding some glitters to the center of it to give that illusion of you know when the pollen that pollen where the bees suck out the pollen i'm trying to give that illusion so with this part i'm now going to tap some glitter onto the end to give it a little bit more oomph because i felt like this the nails were a little bit bland and they kind of you know what it gives me you know that when you look at the I don't know how you call it that, that bees where the, the all the honey is is a cone it's a cone yes the honey cone yes this kind of gives me that the appearance of the glitter being on the nails like this it kind of gives me that honey cone effect so I was really pumped I was really excited about this and with the thumb nothing too extra I did the same exact thing that I did on the other nails with the glitter that I sponge on the glitter just to give that nice fade with the big talk on it so with this nail i was trying to draw a bead and as i said before that my bees are lacking they're lacking so much but i'm really proud of myself through every draw draw i get ensure that i cure so i don't smudge because i do have the tendency of smudging the nails so i will draw bees onto the flower sucking the pollen out of the 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 the, the sunflower which is so dope I really do like this set. I feel like I'm just I'm going. I, I really do like this set. Through every design, I will cure because you know, honey. I am accident prone, so you already know say something that will go wrong. So I will cure this whole process. I am so thankful that I made the purchase of um or I made the transition of going over into gel because if it was polished, I would be smudging these nails left, right, and send her so now that i um, have cured the very first part of the drawing the bees i was then going with the yellow just to give that a little bit more definition of to sh indicate that yes this is really a bees and not some other strange strange animal that i created so um now i'm top coating my my set and i'll put that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then i'll be right back with you guys This is it for this video i hope you really really like it thank you so very much once again and have yourself an awesome awesome day